The town of Woodlawn, a community in Montgomery County, is considering a move that would take fluoride out of the drinking water. But opinions are mixed of whether this is a good idea or a potentially dangerous one. I get this notice from the Woodlawn Utility District about fluoride. What started as a single letter from Julie Biscard's water company last month. I'm a researcher by nature. Has transformed into a flood of research on her kitchen counter. And then I start talking to some of my friends and they're like, yeah, we've been hearing about this too. This is our fluoride room. Vince has to stay on it all the time because it is a poison. The Woodlawn Utility District in Montgomery County is exploring the idea of removing fluoride from their tap water. This is where the fluoride is injected. I'm not saying fluoride is bad, but it's questionable. But before our interview, Paul Clay with the district had us watch a series of YouTube videos and printed out some academic studies that claim high exposure to fluoride can lead to health problems. Maybe kidney and liver function problems, uh, neurological problems in younger children. Clay thinks a better route is to take fluoride out of the water and let individuals exclusively rely on fluoridated toothpaste and mouthwash. Us taking it out of the water gives the public that choice to make for themselves of how much they put in their body. To me, it's a, it's a lifesaver. Dr. Leon Stanislav, a Clarksville dentist who previously chaired the National Fluoridation Advisory Committee, says fluoride in water ensures even the poorest among us get life-saving dental protections. Septicemia can kick in really quickly, uh, meningitis, that kid could end up in the hospital, that kid could potentially die. As a matter of fact, it's, it would be impossible to quantify how many lives have been saved by water fluoridation. Stanislav argues many of those studies Woodlawn gave us have been debunked or retracted or were conducted in communities where fluoride levels were way higher than levels in Tennessee. Can you show me any reputable report anywhere that shows one person has died or was seriously harmed by drinking optimally fluoridated tap water. You just aren't going to be able to do that. I, I think we need to look at experts. Julie's own research points to that conclusion, too, which is why she plans to attend next week's meeting and will let her opinions flow. The more I research it, I really feel like we need it. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.